Okay, hello. So in this tutorial, what I'd like to show you is just something um, that allows you to decide how to create a whole dreamscape scene in two-point perspective. So you're going to start with our vanishing point up near the uh, in the top half of your drawing. What we're going to do in this tutorial is actually fairly uh, basic boxes compared to what we've been doing in our other tutorials. So one box here, so going back to the vanishing point. Back to the other vanishing point. What I'm trying to show you is two techniques to create a real sense of depth and space in, the, in your two-point perspective scene. So um, the first one I'd like to show you, and this is what we're using this box for, is creating overlapping boxes. So what we're going to do is have, once this first box is done and we've erased the extra lines, we're going to create a second box that's just a bit further up on the paper, but that overlaps that first box. So we're going to have information that overlaps like this. So when you build that second box, just build it as normal. It's not a glass. It's not going to be a glass box. So just a regular box. But the information that you have that overlaps, we're just going to keep both information there for a second until we have completed all the boxes we're going to do. So here's another box here. We're going to complete keep this overlapping space for a second, okay. and then um, we're going to draw even a third box back in space. I'm going to make this quite a long box. Like so. Now we have three boxes in a row that are going back in space. Now, to tell which one is closest to you, you can tell the boxes that are lowest on the picture plane are the ones that are closest to us. So as you go back in space, um, you get closer and closer to this horizon line here. So we know then that since this one's lower in space, it's closer to us, so that's going to be in front of the other box. So we're going to erase the information here. And then this one, in turn, is in front of this one. So the information on that second box is in front of that one. So now we have three boxes that overlap each other, which causes it to be even more 3D. The second uh, technique that you can use to make this look like it's a really deep space is as you get really close to the horizon line, if you can add some boxes like this that are very small, just like so, ones that are close to the horizon line like that are way far away compared to these ones in front. Okay, Two simple techniques that, when applied, really make this whole thing very, very 3D. Give it a shot. <laughs> 